Hi everyone, my name is Jim Foyt. This is an all-steel engineering solution to control the flow of oil leaking from the pipe in the Gulf Coast. The conceptual design can easily withstand 13,000 PSI, but before I show the CAD drawing, I have to do a legal statement. If you are under 18 years old, do not watch this video. Close it now. For all others who watch the video, you are not permitted to discuss the information contained herein with anyone who has not accepted these legal constraints. The video can be referenced as Jim's Oil Spill Solution. The goal of this is to make BP watch this video in order to gain this information. If you are a BP employee, or if you are involved in controlling the flow of oil in the Gulf of Mexico, by watching this video, you agree that none of the information contained herein will be used to control the flow of oil unless I am paid $18 million. If I am not paid by July 4, 2010, the price increases to $180 million. I am to be paid as a secure creditor with a cashier's check from a prominent U.S. bank. You are allowed to watch this video for free and pay only when you begin to implement the, inf the information. This price is for the use of the information contained herein on the current oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. The price also includes about 30 additional pieces of information that are related to the device and procedure described herein for controlling said leak, but have been excluded from the video to protect my investment. These features should significantly enhance the functionality of this design. The price excludes patent rights. I can be contacted via i22i4 at live.com. I'm bringing up the drawing right now, so uh, please close out if you don't agree with the legal constraints. Um, <clears throat> the tube in the middle that you'll see in a second, right there, is represents the riser. Uh, this is the device in here. Um, it is a split collar. I only am showing half of it now uh, so that it's more so you're better able to see uh, what it looks like. Um, the, um, the arm is in the configuration where it's covering the oil. Um, when it's initially applied, when it's initially positioned, this bolt is screwed down and the arm is out of the way. Uh, this allows this collar to be placed without um, problems associated with the oil blowing out of the, the riser or whatever you have in, uh, that there, that's there currently. Um, the two sides are, are placed on. Um, I'll explain the details on how to do that in person. Uh, the bolts are put in the holes and uh, it's clamped onto the, the riser. Um, and then um, at that point these bolts um, are, um, well there's several other procedures to be done but uh, the bolts are uh, then screwed uh, up and in, um, going all the way around, uh, doing a little bit at a time, each one. Uh, I'm not going to get into the procedures, specific procedures on how to do this um, because um, I'm trying to protect my investment. Um, I've had 54 days of nights until 4 a.m. Uh, to put together uh, these solutions. Um, the oil, um, let's bring up the other one. Um, this is a picture showing all um, six, well not all six, six of them in place and then the other six would uh, would be uh, on the other side. Um, what uh, what would happen is the oil would um, yeah, let's go all the way back. The, uh, the oil would still blow out of the pipe, but it would be trapped in this small area right in here. Uh, the great part about this design, well, one, it's easy to put on, quick to build, um, 
contains the oil um, but the even better part of this is it's reversible so if you have some sort of pressure problem later on you can open it up to relieve pressure uh, downstream upstream in the pipe um, the other huge benefit is that this can be um, um, is that a new riser can fit on the outside of this flange um, and that riser can then be used to allow the pipe to continue to produce allow this well to continue to produce oil um, another benefit is this is all underwater so there's no risk of hurricanes um, affecting it um, so there you have it um, it's uh, that's the design um, it is an all steel design but there's going to be other materials that are involved in the process uh, those materials even include some liquids and possibly some gases so um, it'd be great if you guys would buy this because I think it's the best design out there by far since day one and had I known your leak was that bad I would have started building this in, uh, in CAD um, that day but it, I was under the impression that it was only a thousand gallons that were leaking um, I think that's it good luck a second addendum um, please help make this go viral it's by far the best design um, they should have come up with this as the first um, as the first design to try to stop the leak it's disappointing that they didn't and that they're trying to drill uh, the relief valves when this could be done so easily and so quickly um, but I need this to go viral I need it to go to uh, specifically to uh, well making it go viral helps it to get to the right people but um, so please send it to your friends and um, if you know any way of getting this to Rear Admiral James A. Watson's office in the Coast Guard, um, that could be helpful. If you can get this to BP, that could be helpful. If you can get this to news organizations, that would be helpful. And of course, President Obama. Um, the other, th uh, another couple of things. Please do not send tons of. Please don't send any email that's not relevant to that email address it's just going to make it hard for me to sort through what's important I'm not going to respond to people um, I gotta get back to my real projects um, and uh, while I'm on it I can do one of my pet peeves i just put this up onto the screen here and you guys can read it maybe at some point I'm not going to waste your time it's not wasting time but uh, it's not pertinent to this um, this problem but it is pertinent to our economy and uh, hopefully intellectual property law will be fixed really would like that very much mr. president thank you